mixed weather today. It actually seems a little misty here. It must have just stopped raining. And what's going on today? How about this one? I've seen this drone a lot before where you've seen this drone of sorts smash through things like glass and all that. This one says Brink delivers first Limer 2 drones to emergency responders. As it says here, Brink, an American developer and manufacturer of technology in the service of public safety, today announced the first deliveries of its flagship drone model, the Lemire 2, to customers in US public safety agencies. These units will be used to de-escalate dangerous situations, assist in search and rescue missions, and improve first responder safety. They're emphasizing a lot of features too, for example, GPS deny, no light position hold, LiDAR and tracking camera array, night vision and FLIR thermal sensors, smart battery power management saying it's FAA compliant remote ID module, and it's a glass breaker for window breaking. As well, there's things, for example, like a speaker system, or the looks of it anyways, from their videos, where I suppose if there's a negotiation hostage situation, they can communicate two ways. It seems like there's some, I guess, features where you can actually do things like drone delivery, although I was reading this one here, it says, deliver a pack of cigarettes during a negotiation or drag a life jacket across the floor. Do people actually do that? Like law enforcement, they give whoever the suspect a cigarette while they're negotiating and all that? For some general specs of the drone, it says it weighs 3.3 pounds, autonomy sensors, there's four of them, the flight time is about 20 minutes, and gimbal rotation 190 degrees. Again, it's meant more for emergency workers, officials and all that, but just looking at all the videos and stuff, crashing through glass, knocking at the door and so forth, can you imagine this stuff being a regular thing? I wouldn't doubt it in the future. Will that be a selling point there too, since it's made in America? And with that, it seems like the US is banning, I guess, even more places when it comes to things like drones. How about this? This one says, US blacklists a dozen Russian firms over drone work. The Biden administration on Thursday added 12 Russian companies to a trade blacklist for supporting Russia's military with drones that could be used to aid Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, the Commerce Department said in a statement. The companies added to the list, which includes Hardest DV LLC and Alpha Component, will effectively be barred from receiving items from suppliers except for possibly food and medicine, the Commerce Department added. Assistant Secretary for Export Enforcement Matthew Axelrod said the Commerce Department will continue to leverage every authority to target Russia's procurement of technologies needed for drones. At this rate, people are going to be banning everyone except, I guess, for themselves to the point where you'll have to use something local, huh? That's something to think about too, especially if you're buying something really expensive. And how about this one, where there's been a lot of talk about things like AI, manipulating people's voices and so forth. Well, how about this one, where I guess there's going to be a celebrity actually suing a company for using their voice and all that for things like an advertisement. This one says, Scarlett Johansson takes legal action against AI app that ripped off her likeness in advertisement. Scarlett Johansson has taken legal action against an AI app that used her names and likeness in an online advertisement without permission. Johansson appeared in a 22 second ad posted on X Twitter by an artificial intelligence image generating app called Lisa AI, 90s yearbook and avatar. Representatives for the actor confirmed to Variety that Johansson is not a spokesperson for the app and her attorney, Kevin Yorn, handled the situation in a legal capacity. The advertisement was spotted on October 28th and appears to have since vanished from the internet. Now for the footage they use, apparently it's from some behind the scene footage from the movie Marvel's Black Widow and it was kind of interesting because according to this, the company tried to avoid legal issue with some fine print saying here, fine print under the advertisement reads, images produced by Lisa AI, it has nothing to do with this person. I don't think that'll hold up in general, but it's kind of interesting to see how this plays out with all this talk about AI and so forth, being able to use or let's just say reuse people's voices and likeness. Will this actually make companies more weary of trying to, I guess, just create something out of somebody's voice thinking, oh, no one will notice like that type of thing or their image and likeness. Let's see what happens here.
All right, see you guys later.